Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Polis Arcade. In today's video, I will be talking about plotting of the Pascal triangle with the help of a C program. So, what is a Pascal triangle? A Pascal triangle can be as shown in the figure. Here you can see, depending on the number of rows, we can have a different result. And as you can see here, the first row starts with 1 then followed by 1 and 1 and then the next row will have 1 and 1 and these two ones will be added and in between we will have a 2. Similarly in the next row we will have 1 and then 1 and 2 will be added and then we have 3 and then again 2 and 1 will be added we have 3 and then finally we have 1 1. So the triangle goes on like this depending on the number of rows you have the value will be added on and it will keep on continuing. So now that you know the idea of how to print this triangle, let us move on to the editor so that I can show you a program with the help of which you can print this Pascal's triangle onto the console or the terminal. So let's move on to the editor. So here you can see I have already written down a program for you to print the Pascal's triangle. And this is the header file followed by my main function. And here you can see this is a variable rows, which is of the integer data type. This will have the number of rows. And then I have this variable, which is coefficient. And this is initiated to 1. And then I have this space variable, which is for the spaces that we will require while we are printing the Pascal's triangle and I have this i and j as my loop variables in order to provide the spaces and then I am using the printf function so that I can print the statement enter the number of rows and with the help of the scanf function I am taking the input of the number of rows from the user and storing it into my rows variable. And then after this, I am again using a printf function so that I can go on to the control in the next line. Now I am going on to the logic inside the program so that I can print the Pascal's triangle. So this for loop you can see, this is the outer for loop, which is for i less i equal to 0, i less than number of rows, i plus plus. And inside this, I have one inner for loop where you can see I have initiated the value of the space to be 1. Then this actually is space less than equal to rows minus i. So what happens is it will keep on printing the spaces according to this logic. And finally, I am incrementing the space by using this space plus plus. So with the help of this line of code, I am printing the empty spaces. You can see here, print empty spaces. And I have given two spaces so that I get the desired output of the triangle. And after that, to print the values, as you can see, I had taken the coefficient to be one. And finally, I'm using another for loop where I'm using this conditional operator you can see this and I'm checking these conditions j equal to equal to 0 and i equal to equal to 0 then the coefficient will be is equal to 1 because as you saw in the triangle in the two sides I want ones to be printed right otherwise I want the values to be added so to add those values as you saw I got 1 then 1 1 then 1 2 1 then I got 1 3 3 1 and so on. What I can do is, you have to remember this formula. The formula is coefficient equal to coefficient into i minus j plus 1 divided by j. So with the help of this formula only, we can implement the Pascal's triangle. Otherwise, it won't be working. So with the help of this formula, we can print the Pascal's triangle. Then after that, I am printing this value. Printf percentage 4d then I am printing the coefficient as you can see here and after that 
just because I want the control to go to the next line, I am giving this print statement outside this control of the for loop so that I can go on to the next line. As you can see here, I have given two slash ends with the help of which I will be going to the next next line. After that, I am ending my for loop which was the outer for loop and finally I am giving this return zero statement because I am returning integer values and finally I am concluding my main function. So this is the program for printing the Pascal's triangle. Now I will run it for you so that you can get an idea of how to print the Pascal's triangle. Let me run it for you. Uh, let me just zoom it and now let me give the number of rows to be 5 and press enter. So here you can see this is the Pascal triangle. In the sides we have one printed and in the first row it is one and in the second row it is one and one and in the third row you can see this is the one and again one plus one is two so we are getting two here and finally again one and in the fourth row one is at the extremes and then one plus two is three two plus one is again three then again we get one again in the fifth row we are getting one then one plus three is four three plus three is six and then three plus one is again four and then in the extremity we have one so depending on the number of rows you will get the output like this so let me just press enter and let me run it once again so that i can show you for more number of rows let us take the number of rows to be eight and let me zoom it and now I'll press enter and now you can see depending on the number of rows you provide you will get a bigger triangle. So this is how you can print the Pascal's triangle with the help of a C program and in that you have to remember this formula coefficient equal to coefficient into i minus j plus 1 divided by j. So with the help of this only we can implement the other different values that are changing depending on the number of rows. So this is the logic behind printing the Pascal's triangle. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also like, share and subscribe to our channel Codus Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post a new video. Thank you. Happy learning.